Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at APW Station. I am Omti One, and this is my esteemed colleague, Omti Two. Two, what are your thoughts about today's matchup? Well, you already know what I'm gonna say, One. I've been looking forward to this match for a long time. It's no ordinary match, Two. It's a two-on-one, a handicap match. It's the first time we've had a handicap match at APW Station, One. This is gonna be incredible. Let's introduce the contestants. And introducing first, there he is, wrestling's disgrace, the lowest form of putrid, no name. And there he is, one, wrestling's embarrassment, coming off a loss against Birdman. And of course, accompanied by his one and only manager, Johnny Foster, painter and knocker. You're looking at the two sneakiest human beings on all of God's green earth, one. And don't forget, two, this is a two-on-one handicap match, which means no name is given a partner. Not that he needs one because he already he has one in his corner doing all his dirty work for him but he's gonna get a partner anyway and that partner is midnight Look at this man, one. He's the most ferocious force in all of Australian wrestling today. Rumor has it too that Midnight eats bricks for breakfast, metal bolts for lunch, and then for dinner, he goes to the local gym, but not to work out, but to eat all the gym equipment. Putting the gym owner out of pocket because he has to pull out more money for new gym equipment. Oh my God, one. What a monster of a man. He is by far the most ferocious force in Australian wrestling today too. And now for their opponent. That's right, one. Don't forget, it's a handicap match. So these two right here have an opponent. And it's not just any opponent, too. It's one opponent. The only opponent. The most evil opponent that Australian wrestling has ever produced. And his name is Gatekeeper. You're looking at the most evil man to ever step foot in a squared circle, one. There is no denying that, two. They say Gatekeeper goes down to hell once a week to collect rent money from Lucifer, one. Rumor has it, too, that Gatekeeper inherited his dark powers from the darkest corners of hell, thus making him impervious to pain. Oh, my God. And there she is, the referee, the multi-talented one, just the girl who was an announcer in our last match, too, and now she's a referee. Hang on, one. If she's the referee, then how come she isn't wearing a standard black and white t-shirt like referee Ash? That's because Jess the Girl is no ordinary referee, two. What do you mean, one? Jess the Girl comes from the Supreme Elite Referees Guild of Australian Wrestling. She's from the Guild? That's correct, two. And the reason she's here is because of the abuse that referee Ash suffered at our last match. Let's take you back. And here we are! And look at that one! Referee Ash being attacked! just for trying to do his job and do what's right for Australian wrestling. Manager of No Name, Johnny Boxer, painter and knocker, also getting his hands dirty by getting involved in some referee abuse. These wrestlers need to understand something, one. These referees hold the key to their victory. And that's why the Supreme Elite Referees Guild of Australian Wrestling had to send in just the girl. And that's why she doesn't wear the black and white shirt, one. I understand now. That's right, too. And here he comes, the most evil force in all of professional wrestling in Australia today, Gatekeeper. Listen to this reaction, one. The fans absolutely love Gatekeeper. We're talking about a man who summons his demonic power from the darkest pits of hell, too. He truly is the Keeper of Gates, one. And look at him as he enters the ring. Mm. And look at that one, falling on his back, showing the audience that he feels no pain. Gatekeeper has inherited the technique known as No Pain, which just coincidentally happens to rhyme with his opponent's name, No Name. If Gatekeeper doesn't feel any pain, one, then what could Midnight and No Name possibly do to this man? It's definitely hard to hurt a man that went to the gates of heaven, took a big shit, and then walked away poking a middle finger. And I heard after that one, he took the pearly gates with him. That's how he got his name, the Gatekeeper. There can be no denying that one too. And here we go. That music's playing one. That means he's coming out. And also accompanied by his manager, Johnny Boxer, painter and knocker, no name. And there he is one, the most disgraceful human being to ever step foot in a squared circle. No name dishonors everything about professional wrestling in Australia today too. And he's proud of that fact. And look at Johnny Boxer, painter and knocker one. He's talking to the audience. He's telling them who's boss. He's giving them all the details about who's taking over the show tonight.
Johnny Boxer paints a knocker, telling the audience that if anyone gets in his way, he'll destroy them. Gatekeeper's getting involved, one. He's had enough. Johnny Boxer, painter and knocker, exchanging words, and No Name gets up on the rope. Look out behind you, Gatekeeper. No Name's trying to sneak in. And look at Johnny Boxer, painter and knocker. He's up on the ring now. Jess the girl trying to get this match under control. But everything's going, oh, look at that. Johnny Boxer, painter and knocker, just knocked over Gatekeeper with a strong right. But as we know, Gatekeeper doesn't feel pain one, so he's straight back up. Oh, my God. This is incredible, too. 100%. And here he comes, No Name's partner, Midnight! And there he is, one, the most ferocious force in Australian wrestling. You're looking at the only man on this earth that drove to a wrestling event and then ate the car he drove in. This man was built different. Look at Johnny Boxer, painter and knocker too, searching for something underneath the ring, up to his sneaky tactics. He's definitely up to something, one. And look at Jess the girl, talking to Midnight, telling him the rules, no name, in the corner, plotting up a scheme, no doubt. Johnny Boxer, painter and knocker, walking around to the side of the ring. No Name and Midnight are in the corner talking, one. And look at Midnight, showing his ferocity. He's an animal, one. An animal. Midnight's animal instinct is something not to be trifled with. No Name and Midnight are approaching Gatekeeper, one. What's going to happen? No Name and Midnight approaching the Dark One. The Keeper of Gates is talking to the audience, one. Gatekeeper telling everyone that he doesn't feel pain, and he's about to prove it. Look at those chops, too. Oh my god, one. Those hits are having no effect. He's the Dark Lord for a reason, too. And look at No Name showing frustration and Gatekeeper fights back. Oh, look out. Wow. Gatekeeper kicked a No Name's stomach. Off the He's rope. bouncing off the rope. And look oh. at that. Oh. And, and there's a second one. shoulder barge to No Name from Gatekeeper. And a third oh. one that knocks down No Name. No Name couldn't handle the force of the most evil man in Australian wrestling, one. And look at Midnight, too. He can't believe his eyes. I can't believe what I'm seeing. And look at that. Another shoulder barge from Gatekeeper to No Name. That's four now, one. And there's number five. Will there be a number six? And No oh. Name with the sneaky stomach kick. And the DDT oh. by No Name. Beautifully executed. Gatekeeper's brain should be all over that ring right now, one. Johnny Boxer, Painter and Knocker up on the ring again. And Gatekeeper gets back up. No name. Clothesline and Gatekeeper back down, but he keeps getting back up. That's because Gatekeeper doesn't feel pain, one. Don't forget, he has the technique. No pain. No name. Relentless with his clotheslines. He's trying to rip off Gatekeeper's head, too. But he won't be able to, one, because Gatekeeper has inherited his powers from the darkest corners of hell. And that means he feels no pain. Pinfall. Here we go. One. It was a one count. Oh, my God, two. Did you see that one count? I saw it, one. Let's get a replay. While watching a one count of this magnitude, one has to consider the accuracy, the positioning, the speed, the reliability, the calculations that are required to execute a perfect one count. And only just the girl could have executed a perfect one count like the one we just saw, one. There is no denying that one, too. And now back to the match. Midnight on the middle rope about to jump off. Oh, my God. Oh, Midnight just crushed every bone in Gatekeeper's body, one. With a body weight of 1,000 metric tons, Midnight's ferocious force and humongous body size was unable to inflict even the slightest damage to Gatekeeper. And it's just so obvious one. I mean, look at Gatekeeper just lying there. He's bored. Midnight off the robe and he's splashing onto Gatekeeper again, causing tsunamis on the outside. I just got word that the entire city of Sydney has just collapsed underneath a mass earthquake, one. Oh, and the only reason this building didn't collapse on us too is the dark energy of oh, Gatekeeper. Oh, look, look at, at that. that. And Gatekeeper straight back up. No Name with the sneaky choke, trying to choke. Oh, and look at that. Gatekeeper with the right hand. No Name just got hit with the full force of hell, one. Gatekeeper trying to connect with the audience and Midnight says no. I'm gonna break your back! I'm gonna break your back! Look at Midnight! The ferocious strength! Wait a minute, one. Listen to the crowd. They're taunting No Name, telling him to pull his pants up. No Name is such a disgrace to wrestling that he doesn't even wear a belt. He wears an electrical cord, and the fans can see that it's not holding up his pants. Gatekeeper with the right hand to No Name, and another one to Midnight. Whoa. Oh, and look at this. Gatekeeper uh, taking Midnight to the corner, oh. and he slams his head into the corner turnbuckle. Gatekeeper means business, one, and look at those chops.
No! Oh, oh my god! No name sneaking up from behind. He's on his knees trying to flip Gatekeeper over. He got him over. No name trying to hold Gatekeeper down, but Gatekeeper fights back and fights off No name. Johnny Boxer, painter and knocker, is up on the ring. One, what's he doing up there? Gatekeeper trying to spread his evil message to the audience. Oh my god! Gatekeeper is starting a chant too. The audience are cheering Gatekeeper. He must have instilled them with some dark energy. One, hypnotizing them, trying to put them under his control. And look at No Name taking advantage. He's got Gatekeeper up against the rope, but No Name is screaming in pain. What's going on, too? It must be the dark energy surrounding Gatekeeper, one. You're not supposed to go near him. Gatekeeper, unfazed by the torture inflicted on him by No Name. As Midnight comes in and picks up Gatekeeper now. Wow! Look at No Name, one. He's confused. He doesn't know what to do against the most evil force in Australian wrestling. And how can you blame him, too? Gatekeeper with the strong right to Midnight. And now it's Midnight. Midnight's turn. Midnight with the strong right, and now Gatekeeper gives it back. It's a back and forth. Midnight with the second punch to Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper's had enough, and he takes Midnight to the corner with the shoulder barges one. Gatekeeper showing no mercy and no name from behind, grabbing Gatekeeper and throwing him into Johnny Boxer, Painter, and Knocker. It's another sneaky tactic, one. No name had this plan the whole time. Referee, just the girl arguing with no name. It's a distraction, one. No name's distracting the referee while Johnny Boxer, Painter, and Knocker. Knocker takes out Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper, unfazed, walks over to the rope while Midnight and No Name grab Gatekeeper and swing him into the rope. What's gonna happen, one? And look at this. Oh, oh my god! Gatekeeper ran into the strongest force to ever come out of Australian wrestling. But it doesn't matter, one, because Gatekeeper has the technique. No pain. No Name sneaking in and grabbing Gatekeeper for the suplex. Look at the oh my strength. god! Oh. No Name with the suplex. And Gatekeeper straight back up. Midnight wasting no time as he gets Gatekeeper for the suplex. Look suplex at the power. by Midnight. Look oh at my that. god. What strength. But Gatekeeper straight back up again, one. Proving that his body is indestructible. Gatekeeper is so unstoppable that this match is equivalent to a work boot standing on two ants. It's like a wolf versing two sheep, one. I've never seen anything like it. No Name trying to get the sneaky clothesline on Gatekeeper, but Gatekeeper resists. No Name's sneaky attack had no effect, one. And what's this? Johnny Boxer, Painter, and Knocker has the foot of Gatekeeper, trying to pull Gatekeeper out of the ring. What a sneaky tactic. What a disgraceful move, one. And No Name from behind, kicking Gatekeeper in the back with a sneaky attack. But just like a paraplegic feeling his legs, one, Gatekeeper felt nothing. And what's this? Johnny Boxer, Painter, and Knocker with a rubbish bin. He's putting a rubbish bin over Gatekeeper's head, too. What could the purpose of this be, one? Johnny Boxer, Painter, and Knocker banging on that rubbish bin like an African bongo drum played by Shaka Zulu. And look at Johnny Boxer, Painter, Painter and Knocker, he's sitting on Gatekeeper 1. I think I know what his strategy is. I think I just figured it out too. If this strategy is what I think it is, Gatekeeper's not going to come out on top with the victory. Johnny Boxer, Painter and Knocker's going to sit on Gatekeeper and let him get counted out 1. It's a genius plan. It's working. And there it is too. Just the girl counted it. It's a 10 count. Gatekeeper has been counted out. What a sneaky tactic 1. But at the same time, it was quite genius. Well, how can you blame them too? Midnight and no name did everything they could to inflict pain on Gatekeeper. But the Dark Lord with his new technique, no pain, was too much for them both. So they did what they had to and just held him down. That's how they got the win today. Genius one. Absolutely genius, I must say.